My name is Flossie and this is my step van conversion. I converted this 1999 Ford E350 Utilimaster step van into my tiny home. It is mildly chaos. In last week's video, I tried really hard to contrast the juxtaposition between the joy and excitement notes. and euphoria of hanging out with good friends because of course you have post notes yes. and the deep emotions I was experiencing at the time of editing the video. There were several big trucks along the road that we passed. If they were having trouble keeping traction... Stress! This channel is a precious place where I share vulnerable moments of my life. Stories, adventures, my griefs, excitements and dreams. And I will only speak about my own experiences and not on behalf of others. Just watching the end of the fire before we go to bed. Look at this. This is crazy. <laughs> that just came down in like two seconds. Seconds, and then it stopped. No. <laughs> and now we have stars again. It's just crazy. You making a little snowman? <laughs> what are you doing? Beautiful, beautiful dip dyed wool. And now we ball it. Which end are we starting at? this afternoon gusts of 68 kilometers per hour that's wild so like we could go out on the beach and be like <laughs> um and then evening is only is 27 gusting 51 yeah overnight it says sn snow rain shower snow For only 40 percent chance though of less <laughs> than one mil so it's like it's cool and maybe we won't get out fire but then So let's this so this is the South Island, so we'll just fold that out of the way for this. Um there is a better lake to access for paddling, but this one has really nice big trees, huge cedars, so that's a nice and maps. I also have an Amanda. <laughs> that is me. This is when two travelers get together and start planning an adventure together. It is mildly chaos lots of preparation, lots of booking and planning things, and then months in advance, post-it notes. Yes. Because of course you have post-it notes. Yes. I'm just gonna go get tumbled and come straight back. To make talking about emotions and life experiences that a lot of us face easier by sharing mine in a kind, 
thoughtful and philosophically reflective way. I really enjoy making videos to share whatever is going on in my life at the time. Sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's really hard, especially when I'm deep in the middle of experiencing it. Then you get a wobbly and teary version of me. I love and appreciate the depth of investment, care and support you all have with my story. Sometimes a lot happens off camera too, that takes a lot out of me. And sometimes it's just really overwhelming to share. I hope things will get easier and that I can show up in life with you here, joyful, communicating clearly, with wonderful, heartwarming thoughts to share. I'm not perfect, and with lots of things, this is my first rodeo. I'm doing my best from an honest place of care and transparency. These waves remind me of the oceans back home in New Zealand, the long, hot summer days when I'd surf jump for hours, getting tumbled round and round in the big breakers. These waves aren't quite as big, and it's still the end of winter here. The air is crisp and cold on the skin. Any skin that isn't covered in my thick selfie skin wetsuit, that is. I'm so cold. So cold. Please open those when it's Thankfully, Amanda is such a bright spark and caring human and had booked us a beautiful sauna that evening to warm up after I had gotten out of the ocean. A perfect way to end an evening beachside after a long day of hiding inside our vans from the rain and wind and bad weather that often comes with being on the west coast. What's going on? Look at you! So cute! Dee 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 dee! I've been sitting down crocheting all day so I have full of beans! Ah. Woo! I look forward to the day one day when I can have my own companion four-legged fur baby like Amanda has with Frank to love, to accompany me through the ups and downs and trials of life. He's an amazing creature. Surfing has never really appealed to me as it always had bad wonky knees that were prone to dislocating, preferring to be instead under the water than on top of it. After many beautiful days at the beach, it was time to say goodbye, to move on. With ominous snow and hail, okay, thank you. and the temperatures dropping below zero at night, I was a little concerned about going over the pass to get back to the other side of the island. Bye Frankie! I don't even have treats for you, bye! There was snow in the forecast. It might be a much prettier drive than I expected. Snow! Snow, snow, snow! <laughs> well, almost. Almost. Not real snow, but for the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> Maybe. And myself, being from the Southern Hemisphere and driving a very large vehicle with limited snow driving experience. Woo! Up we go! You could say I was just a little nervous. Oh my god! Ha <laughs> ha! 
but I had places to be and people to see, and so I had to get on the road and get off and on my way. Whew. My heart is just racing just a little bit. snow makes everything very beautiful, it also makes things very slippery. British Columbia doesn't quite have the deep cold to make everything solid and hard. Our snow is wet and slushy, not quite frozen and not quite water. This creates really slippery patches. And I'm still only getting used to automatic braking systems, anti-lock braking. Oh, thank God. Now I have the snow plow in front of me. Oh, that's so good. I hope this will mean that I'm gonna be okay. And how to manage a large vehicle downhill when traction is at its minimum. Guess we find out. There were several big trucks along the road that we passed. If they were having trouble keeping traction and were sliding down, obviously much heavier than I, I was quite worried about how I would fare in these conditions. Staying here wasn't an option. It was going towards evening, snow was continuing to fall and it was only going to get worse. Not fun. 
Everything feels a little bit more critical when you are a turtle carrying your home and most of your worldly possessions with you on your back. Sliding into a ditch was not an option I desired. By sheer blessing and good grace and all of the stars in the universe aligning, some say I'm a tin bum. The lucky star that follows me had the snowplow come and escort me safely all the way through the pass to safety. I was very relieved to say the least. Making it safely across, I was headed off to my next adventure, which I can't wait to share with you next week. Let me tell you, have I ever been so happy <coughs> to see houses, to see civilization. Oh, I don't think I'm quite out of it yet. I think I still have some more treacherous driving to go. But I think I'm through the worst and hopefully there'll be more plowing, less, less snow is sticking to the road now, like the road feels much safer to drive. I haven't been that stressed in a while. When I get stressed, my legs kind of just shake uncontrollably, like I don't know how to move how to not make my body move. I just have a stretched fight or flight reaction where my body shakes. Whew. My van is great going uphill in the snow, downhill. I have to be really careful that my brakes don't lock up and I slide and I don't know, there's some sort of fancy automatic braking system in this vehicle that like vibrates the pedals which is freaky but I'm used to it and you just gently pulse the brakes and everything is okay I think I drove a 90 kilometer an hour road at 40 to 50 60 maybe 40 to 50 kilometers the whole way and for most of it the snowplow saved my butt oh being right behind the snowplow on the steepest parts and going over the slipperiest downhill like I don't know if I would have made it otherwise I really don't know what if I would have made it I was worried about this downhill that I'm doing right now but the road is okay I can see the road as opposed to the road being white and I can feel the traction so I'm not worried oh I am getting and earning my snow driving Canadian stripes. People, kids who grow up in Canada learn to drive in the snow as teenagers or being passengers when they're adults around them drive. Holy moly, as an adult learning this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, this is more than the adventure that I signed up for, but I'm, I think, if I think I know where I am right now, I am so relieved. Oh. Whew. Yay! I look forward to hearing how you're all doing. Please let me know what you thought of this video in the comments. I read all of them. Thank you so much. A huge thank you to my Patreons for all your support. And I'll see you next week. Bye!